According to Sir Peter, there are more than 340 seasonal workers currently in Australia who are the inhabitants of Inga province and further elaborated on the areas he visited. Uh, the first trip I visited Melbourne and uh, 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 Brisbane and also Tasmania. Tasmania. This time I went to, to uh, Perth. Uh, and then I also stopped in by in, uh, Melbourne because we didn't meet some of our, our people who are working in uh, in these uh, uh, butcheries. The last time they were busy, so we, this time we were able to stop by and meet them. Uh, and of course, uh, went to to Griffin. Griffin, uh, which is in New South Wales. Sir Peter revealed the purpose of his visit. So the purpose of our trip is to make sure that uh, we continue to have a, a interaction with our workers. Sir Peter indicated that workers are doing okay, except those having issues with one of the company in Australia. So, uh, so far I want to uh, report that, uh, they, you know, from an uh, anger perspective, they are all doing well. Except for, uh, you will all remember that we had an issue in uh, Tasmania last time that I brought it up in Parliament, that uh, there were 137 of our workers who were not looked after properly by a company called Lynx. The provincial member also mentioned that his team will be documenting projects that the seasonal workers are doing back in their village to establish the physical outcome of this seasonal worker scheme. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, some of them are building houses, some have got uh, families running buses, and so what we are going to do as a province is we will be documenting all that next month. You know, uh, they were asked to to uh, communicate with the office in Wabe, to, to give locations of their projects that they are doing in their own villages, so we can go and document them, so we can see that there is a physical benefit on this scheme. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News.